doing well with it. Kind of, what are your first, how do you work the first three days? What are you mainly trying to instill? Because obviously you know the guys, you know what they have aside from the freshmen. Just kind of what's the mindset first three days? Fundamentals. Effort and fundamentals. As much as we can, build skill. And we're all freshmen for the first couple of days. You know, that's, that's the way we go into it. Uh, so that we don't assume someone knows more than anybody else. Uh, and then effort. Everybody can run to the ball. It doesn't take talent to run to the ball. So that's what we're going to try to evaluate the next couple of days. Chris said yesterday how just maybe you guys have started to learn how just going from zero to 100 doesn't really help you guys right, right out of the gate. How does that affect your position group, knowing that you do have so many kind of young guys coming through the line now? Well, it forces you to really focus in. You know, so whatever it is, maybe a one rep or two reps, that, that rep has to be full speed, uh, as detailed as possible, very deliberate, uh, so that you get the mental and physical rep you need while keeping your body fresh. And then as we get going on, the veterans will get more and more reps, and uh, we'll kind of get our way towards where we need to get to. Is that something that coaches have to adjust to as well as the players? Oh, for sure. Yeah, for sure. You know, sometimes, like myself, I would say, you know, I'm, I'm a go, go, go guy. And i got to really check myself and make sure I'm teaching skill, really deliberately taking the time to teach it so that when we execute that rep, we're not trying to redo it to correct what I've already coached. Right. And just talk a little bit about having Greg back. I, yeah. I know we, we talked to him right after the Fiesta Bowl, and he was pretty matter-of-fact about all this stuff. That he's like, ah, I talked to my family, I'm coming back. It's yeah. like, kind of, he made it kind of no big deal. Yeah. But how important is it to get him back? Oh, it's huge. It's no different than bringing Vita back. And it's just that leadership skill. You got that solid rock, that foundation in our room. Uh, he does a great job, as well as Jalen and, and, and Bull, in terms of taking a freshman on their own. So they're doing a lot of one-on-one -on -one stuff by themselves. Uh, and the, those guys get to learn from somebody who's been on the field. You know, it's always better to learn from somebody that's doing it. Uh, and, and those guys have seen them on, on film and on game. So from a guy that they're watching on game tape, now they get to learn from and then hopefully try to mimic as much as possible. And I know you didn't get a chance to really work with the, with the, the true freshman over the summer, but first time out, did you kind of see what you expected to see? Yeah, I did. You know, I, I saw some nervousness, some anxiousness. Um, those guys came out and gave me effort, which was the best thing about it. Uh, the technique they will get better at, but I think they're understanding it. You know, so when we get to special teams, we had some one-on-one -on -one time, and those guys are slowly starting to develop. For day one, I thought they did a great job. And how about their fitness? I know you guys want them to come in mm -hmm. ready to compete mm -hmm. for jobs from the start. Yeah, so you know, we'll get them back. In, we'll get them in more shape. Uh, we'll get them where we need to in terms of, of game type shape so they can start to play. Uh, I think it's just like any other freshman, they don't really understand what it takes to get to that second level until they've really been here. So they went through Coach Saha and they kind of understand what it really takes to be in an elite program. Uh, and now they get to watch Greg and Jalen and Bull in person as they strive to get better. Thanks. Appreciate it.